Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and I'm going to be showing you today how to make a portal that you can run through. I've made portals for Adobe. I have made portals for Red Bull. I've now made Christmas portals for Insta360. All that to say, I am a professional on how to make a cool little portal animation in After Effects. So I'm going to show you the easiest, best way on how to do it. Before we get into our portally goodness, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. My way avoids as much conflict as possible. We wanna avoid as much 3D tracking as we can. So we want shot A and shot B to be moving at the same speed in the same direction. So if I'm running towards a door, we need the scene on the other side to be moving the, in the same direction. The opposite scene needs to be moving in the same direction or it's not gonna work. The obvious thing we need to do here is mask the inside of this gate here I did for Red Bull and also the biker who's going inside of it. Okay, so now. Now, a trick I use to save myself a headache when it comes to 3D tracking and then adding keyframes onto the layer that we're going into is I will find the moment where shot A and shot B line up perfectly, where it looks like without any 3D tracking, you just run into the other scene. I will take a screenshot. I will freeze frame that moment. So I'll duplicate um, our second clip, freeze frame it, and then get rid of everything before the freeze frame on the original layer. Now we're gonna 3D track this scene and we're gonna select one of these targets that's flat up against the gate. And now we're gonna track behind the portal the screenshot we just took. And the moment we took the screenshot of the second scene, we're just gonna get rid of the freeze frame and leave the second scene. So when you play it back, it looks like the portal was tracked onto the scene properly and at the moment, it really matters. You just start going in the portal and now you can add keyframes to your second scene and not worry about affecting the 3D track in any way. And later we're gonna do some compositing tricks like heat distortion and glows, which even if there's a little jump between your screenshot and your second scene, it hides that entirely. So in all of my portal animations, I like to make it seem a little ethereal when we go through the gate. Like in this Insta360 one, I added tons of glows and god rays. With this Red Bull portal, I added a little RGB separation also. And in all of them, I add um, a distortion effect that makes the air look wiggly. So since we 3D track this scene, we can 3D track an adjustment layer um, into our gate and we'll put it behind our mask. So if we go into our effects and presets and type in heat distortion, which is a plugin you have to buy, but I'll show you how to do this with the free native plugin, Turbulent Displacement, in a second. So if we apply heat distortion to this uh, adjustment layer, we can now see our 3D tracked portal. It looks really portally. I like to change the wind speed down to like 0.2 or else it moves too fast. And I'll change the noise scale up so it's like big and blobby. And then when I'm running through the portal, I am just going to keyframe the heat amount to zero or also a great way to get rid of heat distortion as you're going into the next scene. In the layers panel, hit E, so you're looking at your effects. Click on heat distortion and under compositing options, just scale it from 100 to zero. Now, if you don't wanna buy heat distortion, you can use the effect turbulent displacement. And if you keyframe the evolution here to spin and you, and you play around with all these values, adding a keyframe on the evolution will give you a topsy turny look. So multiple ways to make it look a little portally and then to make it look ethereal and really sell the sci-fi fantasy aspect is I'm gonna add some glows. So let's throw the effect glow on there. Sometimes the glow is too much, like it blows out the entire image. So we're gonna animate threshold, which is like how much of the whites are affected. You crank up threshold until you've got like a nice glowy texture to everything. So now your portal has heat distortion and glow. It looks nice. You can keyframe the glow to get bright as the portal appears. And when you go through it, make sure you're keyframing all your glows down so your second scene isn't a giant mess when you run into it. And now that the inside of our portal is really bright and nice, it looks a little weird that the gate on top of this is just still dark. So we're going to add light wraps to this. Same with our masked out biker. We want the edges of his skin and his clothes to be to be reflecting the light that's coming from the portal. So there's actually a free light wrap plugin called Crate Light Wrap on productioncrate.com. It's free and I'll link it in the description below. If you're not using this, you are um, so silly. So I'm about to tell you the best way to use this plugin. Duplicate every layer underneath of your mat. So, and solo the layer. So you're just looking at basically the glow and the background you've made. This layer is acting as a reference for your light wrap. And now take your masked out layers and duplicate them each. And for the gate, for example, we're gonna apply Crate Light Wrap. And for source, we're gonna select the, the layer we just created from everything. 
you can already see what's starting to happen, but we're gonna come down to these compositing options at the bottom and set it to wrap only. So this layer exists as just the light wrap of the portal. Let's play around with the luminance bias until we can see kind of the outline of the original thing that we're light wrapping. This will give us the most realistic look in the end. So you always wanna play around with your luminance bias. If we crank out the width and blur background, we can really accentuate the glow coming from inside the portal. Rinse and repeat that process with your biker if you Put light wrap on the duplicated biker layer, set it to wrap only, and play with the luminance bias until you can see kind of like the edges of your character. Now, sometimes the problem with this effect is that it will apply to your entire mask when really you only want it applied to like one area. But this is completely fixed because we have put our light wraps on separate layers. So we're just gonna create a mask and keyframe it to where we want it uh, as the person is in front of the portal. So huge portal tip guys, you have to light wrap your masks. And now for the flavor that really sells the portal effect is God Rays. I apply this to everything now. It's the best effect in the entire world. You can even see with this plugin and my Insta360 Christmas video that my head is like affecting the God Rays. Like it just blends everything together. Like the light wrap is nice, but this sells it. And this is a free plugin also from Production Crate, link in the description below. So we're gonna put an adjustment layer over top of everything and this is basically turning the brightest parts of your image into god rays it looks intense at first but we're gonna set the threshold to 50 and crank down and crank up the decay which is like decaying how much light is in there and eventually you'll get an amount of light streaks that just looks really satisfying and if we animate the position to follow the middle of the portal these god rays come out like this so I apply that to my portals, guys, and it's just like, it's been the best thing in the entire world. And that's how you create a portal in After Effects. If you have any questions about editing or animation or anything, leave them in the comment section below or hit me up on Instagram. I have lots of good, all my cool visual effects work is there. And now guys, it's time to thank the amazing sponsor that funds these videos, Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you wanna be an incredible business person like me. Squarespace will set you up for all the success in the world. First of all, you can create custom merch all through them. They will help you with the designs. They handle the shipping and the inventory. So all you gotta do is show up with a good idea and they'll help you execute physical products that'll help you connect with your audience. But what if you actually already make stuff and you wanna sell stuff? Squarespace has you covered. They've got retail online stores that you can build. So if you sell jewelry, maybe furniture, you can list this stuff on Squarespace and you have an amazing retail website. Okay, but what about my content creators and influencers out there? Maybe you don't have like furniture that you're building that you wanna sell. In member areas on Squarespace, you can upload exclusive bonus content that you're not posting anywhere else. You can drive traffic to your website and make profit by monetizing memberships to exclusive content they could only see on your Squarespace website. So become a business person with Squarespace, create custom merch, sell retail items, or make money through monthly subscriptions to your bonus content. It's incredible, the options are endless. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today, and where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.